After shopping, it was time to hop over to Lost Nation Brewery to meet the owners and check out the beer we'd be using to cook later on. So here we are inside, and I happened to find uh, the brewmasters and the owners. Cheers to uh, Cheers. Alan and Jamie. So you're drinking um, our flagship, that's a Goza. It's very nice. Very refreshing. Yes, very yep. refreshing. And you serve kombucha here and lunch. Yep, the kombucha is made by a friend of ours locally. Uh, we use bread from a local bread producer, Elmo Mountain Bread. It's, so it's, it's great. It's very organic, very um, a great relationship. We know everyone that we buy from. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It feels small town, but you guys have big stuff going on. It is, and that's the nice part, it is small town. I live about two miles away, Alan lives about five miles away. Jamie's wife teaches my son. Yeah. You know, it's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, much success continued to you guys. Thank you so much for the beer. Thank, Thank you, Thank you for, for providing for the dinner party. All right. And hope yeah. to see you again. Thank you very much. For new in Vermont, right. the Napa Valley of beer. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cheers. When I got back to Wendy's, Chef Jason and I immediately started cooking. The guests were already starting to arrive. Many of them had skied all day, and they were hungry. So we're going to start with the entree. The entree is going to be a local rack of lamb, which has the lamb loin and the bone on it. The bone gives it a little extra flavor. There's a little, a little fat there mm -hmm. that kind of seeps into the meat, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Like so, mouth water. Yeah. Yes. First thing we're going to do, we'll separate the two racks of lamb. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And that just kind of needs to be massaged into the lamb. All right. And then we're going to sprinkle with a little fresh herbs. Okay. And the key yes. here is both sides. After your herbs, we're going to do a little garlic. Okay. Oh, this and looks good already. And you're going to pull it all together. Yeah, it, already, it already smells good, it so you does. can already smell the fresh herbs mm -hmm. and the garlic. So I might, I might as well introduce Emmett. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so you love to cook? I do love to cook. And so you're going to get your hands in here, too? I'd love to. All right. Should we leave? No, I'm just kidding. Come on. Salt and pepper both sides. And then we're going to put the fat side down in the cast iron skillet. Nice. While we're doing our silliness over there, Brad's actually doing all the work for the, uh, the guests here, the appetizers. Tell us what we have going here. Uh, we have an oysters rockefeller right here. Yum. And along the outside is a Mediterranean tuna tartare with uh, creme fraiche and paddlefish caviar. I love the way you have served it in the spoon. The great part about this is it's actually Wendy's recipe. Wendy gave, brought this recipe to us for one of her dinner parties. Get out. And we've been using it for the last five years. Mm. 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 Super fresh tuna, mm, sushi gray fresh. tuna, mm. the creme fraiche, the creaminess and the rich, rich, richness oh. of the creme fraiche kind of pulls together. And then you get that salt from the paddlefish caviar that really gives it, makes the flavor pop from the wow, tuna. that is so, so good. Wow. Mm. Okay, mussels. Mussels. We're going to make a fantastic mussel dish. We're going to use our local beer, the Goza beer. And so we're going to open our beer and make sure that we want to get um, a good layer in there because the pizza oven is very hot, so it's going to steam up pretty fast. And we want to make sure there's enough beer in there to steam all the mussels open. Okay. So a little for you, a little for the pan, a little for Sure, the yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, that's nice. So we're going to do just a little bit of our fresh herb mixture that we used before. And roasted garlic. Perfect. And then you can just put about most of these tomatoes in there. Okay. And so add this as a little color also and some uh, sweetness. Color and sweetness. Yeah. And then we're going to pop those in the oven. And, and, and they're only going to take a little while on the pizza oven because the pizza oven's so hot. The thing that's great about mussels is you know when they're done because they open up. Yeah. So they let you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I do that too. No one's ever noticed that. <laughs> you know, when you just see me like this, you can just know. All right, Parker, we just pulled them out of the oven. They look and smell fantastic. I would say, I would say. So Ooh. we made some toast points. Let's just kind of put the toast points around the outside okay. of the pan. We're going to serve it right in this dish. I, that's what I think. Why not? All right. That looks lovely. Doesn't that look lovely? Wow, look at those plump mussels, too. They look so delicious. Is everybody hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Time for dinner. Time for dinner. This is what it's all about. Great friends, an incredible setting. Stowe has been magnificent. And of course, delicious food. 
That's New England Living in Stowe. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.